These video instructions are intended to give a general overview of the proper application of Gen 2. A complete review of the written instructions before application is required. Gen 2 coating is the next generation of corrosion resistant and easy cleaning coatings. It excels where other coatings fall short. Gen 2 is a product with a technical application. Certain specific steps are necessary to ensure a clean and effective coating. Warnings and cautions. Do not open part A unless inert gas is available or unless the entire container is ready to be used immediately at the time of opening. Do not use mixing equipment that has not been rated for flammable liquids. Do not leave Gen 2 uncovered when it is mixing or when it is not being applied. Do not spray Gen 2 without sufficient engineering ventilation controls or without making a minimum of supplied air respirators available to all those exposed to Gen 2 spray. Do mix Part A thoroughly before adding Part B. Do apply a blanket of inert gas to the headspace of partially used containers of Part A immediately after the material to be used has been poured off. Do clean all equipment with acetone and then isopropyl alcohol immediately after use. Personal protective equipment is required and should be worn at all times when applying Gen 2. The proper equipment will depend on the method used to apply the coating. Please refer to the written instructions for complete guidelines. Refer to safety data sheets for both Part A and Part B before applying Gen 2. Surface preparation. Remove all oil, grease, dust, dirt, loose rust, and other foreign materials to ensure adequate adhesion. Please refer to the written instructions for more information. For best results, all equipment, including anything to mix or apply the product, should be glass, stainless steel, or high-density polyethylene. Mixing. Both Part A and Part B of Gen 2 are flammable. Use mixing equipment rated for flammable liquids. The first step in preparing Gen 2 is properly mixing the product. Mix Part A thoroughly. In this video, we are showing a smaller quantity of Gen 2 being mixed. Refer to written instructions for the proper mixing procedures for larger quantities. Mixing time will range from 30 seconds to 5 minutes, depending on the quantity and the size of the container. Please refer to the written instructions for more information. Once complete, add Part A to the mixing vessel and turn on the mixer. Add Part B to Part A at a 1 to 1 ratio by weight. Mixing should be done so that a slight vortex is produced, but not faster. Excessively high speeds will force air into the mixture and reduce the product's pot life. Keep Gen 2 covered during the mixing process and whenever possible to ensure that the loss of solvents due to evaporation is minimized. Mixing times range from 90 to 120 minutes depending on ambient temperature. Please refer to the written instructions for more information. If the entire container of Part A will not be used, inert gas, preferably argon or nitrogen, must be used to blanket the headspace of the remaining liquid in the container. If this is not performed, Part A will be rendered unusable. Filtering Gen 2 For best results, filter Gen 2 using 1 micron glass fiber filters into a clean vessel separate from the mixing vessel. This will remove gel bodies and any other particulates introduced into the coating during the mixing step. Failure to filter Gen 2 may result in poor coating appearance and may affect coating performance. It is best to clean all vessels and equipment as soon as possible after use. Application Methods Flow Coating In essence, flow coating is controlled pouring. Flow coating by hand is not complicated, but takes practice to attain an even coating. In this video, we are using a squeeze bottle and plastic dropper, but there are other methods that can be used depending on the size of the area being coated. The object to be coated should be inserted into or suspended above a collection vessel, so the excess Gen 2 can drain off of the object and be collected, filtered, and reused. Once Gen 2 has already been applied to an area, even if not fully cured, do not apply additional Gen 2 over it, or else lines will be visible in the recoded area and adversely affect adhesion. Dip Coating Use a clean vessel of sufficient size to hold enough Gen 2 to completely coat the desired portion of the object. Slowly dip the object to minimize imperfections. 
do not dip more than once. Brush or roller coating. Applying Gen 2 with brushes or rollers may result in bubbles within the coating. This can be avoided by using a slower application speed and less pressure. Avoid overcoating any area of the Gen 2 coating that has begun to dry. This will adversely affect the appearance and may adversely affect the adhesion. Spray Coating The appearance of Gen 2 as applied by HVLP or high volume low pressure sprayers will result in an industrial grade quality finish. This may include very small gel bodies, orange peel, or slight modeling. Engineering controls such as a fume hood or other sufficient ventilation must be available to remove all Gen 2 vapors from the working environment. If engineering controls are not available, a minimum of a supplied air respirator must be used to protect all those exposed to the spray application. Avoid overcoating any area of the Gen 2 coating that has begun to dry. This will adversely affect the appearance and may adversely affect the adhesion. When spraying is complete, immediately flush the spray gun with acetone and then with 99% isopropyl alcohol. Drying and curing. Coated objects should be allowed to sit at room temperature for 10 to 15 minutes or until dry to the touch after it has been completely coated. For best performance, coated objects should be cured in a clean oven for one hour at 90 degrees Celsius or 194 degrees Fahrenheit if this will not adversely affect the object. If the coated object cannot be placed in an oven, allow it to cure at room temperature in a clean environment for at least 24 hours. After 24 hours of curing at ambient conditions, the coated object may be put into service. Performance may continue to improve over time at ambient conditions. Use acetone followed by 99% isopropyl alcohol for cleaning equipment. See instructions for specific cleaning methods. For more information on Gen2, visit us on the web at www.gen2coding.com or call us at 904 292-1611.